All right, so apparently I cannot go live on Instagram anymore for more than um, 15 minutes, or at least I can't upload it if it's can. I can go live for as long as I want, as far as I could tell. But in order to upload and save it to my Instagram, it has to be 15 minutes or under. And if you guys know me for any length of time, there's no way I do makeup in 15 minutes. Um, I do on a day where I'm working heavily and I don't want to wear a lot of makeup because I don't want it to smear, but there's no way I'm going to do my makeup in flipping 15 minutes. So I guess I'm filming live on here now and hopefully at the end of this, I don't know because I haven't done it on here in a while. Hopefully at the end of this one, it will um, save to my phone so that I can then upload it to YouTube. So we shall see. And I have no idea. Oops. It just tell it like has little eyeballs up here that tells me if people are watching. So if you are watching, that is great. Um, let's see. Share your broadcast. Oh no, I don't want to do that. So I guess there are some of you watching, but I don't know. So if you're watching and you can see this, comment or something so that I know because otherwise I have no idea. Um, so we're just gonna kind of chit chat and play with stuff and hopefully on here this will work better as a platform for my lives because I prefer lives to pre-edited videos. First of all, it takes me about an hour to do my makeup every day and to edit a video from an hour down to 15 minutes or less or whatever to be YouTube friendly or Instagram friendly is just, it's a lot of work. It can take up to three hours or more to go through all the footage, split it down, make the transitions. Oh my God, I just, I can't, I don't like it. And I like live anyways, because then I can talk to you guys while I'm live. And then I can also, um, it's just a more realistic experience. And I've always preferred it that way. So even if this method doesn't make me a super, I don't know, YouTube star because my ed my videos aren't edited and perfect. I don't fucking care. I just don't. So, um, I'm actually going to try a few new things today. I went to Sephora yesterday because I had to get this lip gloss that my girlfriend was telling me about. And I don't think she's on here as much as she is on Instagram. So, I will upload this to Instagram, hopefully, so that she can see it. So, Hedlin, the reason that I'm doing this video is because of you. So, um... I went and got this lip gloss that I always see her wearing in all her videos and it just looks absolutely phenomenal. And it's this one by Fenty Beauty and it's the one that is in Fenty Glow and it's so pretty. The most not sticky lip gloss ever and it just makes your lips look amazing and juicy and she always looks so pretty when she wears it. Oh, what is that? And so I went to pick it up and then while I was there, they had this thing where if you signed up for this thing, you got a whole, like a whole bag full of goodies. And so I got skincare and makeup and eyeshadow and mascara and all this stuff. So uh, it was a good day to go to Sephora. So we're going to play with stuff today and see how it goes. Um, let's see here. So I'm trying to think of how I want to do this. Um, my desk is an absolute mess because my child loves to get into my things so if you guys could see my setup right now there is just stuff everywhere so we're just gonna play with stuff this is a makeup forever eyeshadow I guess um it doesn't tell me what the shade name is it just has a number on there and this says 8L02 uh, which I know isn't the name of it but then on the actual little box it came in there's a different number, so I have no idea what shade this is, but it looks like kind of a plummy, mauve color, so we're just going to throw that on, um, probably with just an all-over brush. Anytime I'm doing a new eyeshadow where I don't know what the base tone is going to be, um, oh my gosh, look how dark my eyes are. I hope my girlfriend messages me back and tells me what good, what's a good uh, under eye thing to do because, man... That's not just a little bit of makeup. Like, those are some dark circles. But anyways, anytime I don't know what a eyeshadow's base color is going to be, I use um, Cottage Cheese, which is a white base so that it can show the true color. So, 
we're just going to take a fluffy brush, a flat fluffy brush, and we're just going to put it all over. I can hear my kid giggling in the background. And it's funny because as a mom, you know your kid's different sounds and things. So I know right now that the sound he's making means that he is at the doggy door, playing with the dogs at the dog door. And there's really nothing I can do about it. So, like, whatever. At least he's quiet. He's not crying. So, um, let's see. I'm going to do my brows real quick just because I feel like they need a little bit definition. And I'm using up this e.l.f. brow pencil that I got. Oh my gosh. It's cute to hear him giggling like that. It's adorable because I know he's having a blast and I know why he's having a blast is because he's torturing the dogs, but whatever. The dogs are kind of a nuisance sometimes too, so I guess they deserve it. So after we just, the only reason this brow pencil is the wrong shade for me is because it's a little bit too on the warm side and it's a little bit lighter than I would like. So I don't know what shade this is. It's like a brunette, but it's like a warm brunette and I need more of a cool, like a cool dark brunette. But my microblading is fading and so I'm just, um, I'm just going to, uh, why that's not even at all. <laughs> Good Lord. Okay. Let's fix that a little bit. Holy crap. I have no idea if you guys can hear that in the background, but he is having a blast doing whatever he is doing. I guarantee you it is naughty, but there's a reason they say boys will be boys. Okay, so that's a little bit more even. And he will likely come in and out several times during the video, so just keep that in mind. All right, and then we're just going to put this NYX cottage cheese all over the lid. Hi. What you up to? Hi. 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 Yeah, that's Mama's. Were you playing with the dog dogs? Were they outside? <coughs> Lily, no. Eat your Cheetos. Your Cheetos are over there, sweetie. The doggies tried to eat them. No, you guys go. Out. Eat your Cheetos, honey. <laughs> if you're a mother, then you know the struggles between trying to do stuff like this and having a kid run around. And some of you have more than one. So you know even more. And I actually hope to have more than one someday. But right now, I just have the one. And whoo. At least if you space them out, the older kids can help take care of the younger kids. Right now, it's just the one. And it's just me. So this looks like it's a really pretty kind of, uh, I don't know. It's almost like a mauve pewter shade. Um, and it's really pretty for just something to kind of slap on. I don't think I'm working a whole lot today, um, maybe later tonight. I do have to run a couple errands in town and get diapers and stuff. And so this is great for just putting on something so you look kind of put together um, without going totally all into it. So I like this. I've never tried Makeup Forever shadows. We don't, I think Makeup Forever is maybe, well, obviously this was some, from Sephora, so Sephora sells it, I'm assuming. But I've never tried any of their eyeshadows. We don't have anywhere here that sells them. Our Sephora is inside of JCPenney, and it's really kind of small, actually. 
And so they definitely don't have, at least that I remember seeing when I was there, they don't have Makeup Forever shadows. So this isn't, this one's really nice. This is really easy to put on. And it seems to blend out really nice. And I'm kind of being like super messy about it and it still looks great. So I feel like this is a great eyeshadow color for, you know, you're just in a hurry and you're like, okay, I want to put something on. Still look great. So I don't know if you guys saw that, but it was super quick, super simple. Took me like, I don't know, five minutes, <laughs> not even to do that. So this could have been maybe a 15 minute video, who knows? All right, um, my brush. So really I'm just creating a look based on all the little samples that I got at Sephora. Just to try some new stuff out, see how it goes. I have this, it says that it's a mattifying powder moisturizer. So it's a mattifying moisturizer that turns into a powder. I don't know. It's from Sephora. It's a Sephora brand. So let's just put it on and see how it goes. Okay, so it's definitely a moisturizer. I hate sample packets, but I also like them too, because on a day where you're just trying to put stuff on, then, oh man, it's thick. Not scented, but well. I'm hoping this doesn't do what every other moisturizer and skincare does besides the Monate stuff that I've been using, which is it sits on top of my skin and then it pills off. Every product ever has done the same dang thing and it drives me crazy. Monate stuff does not, and so that's why I have been sticking with them. Uh-oh. Because in my world, my skin is so stinking finicky that if I can find something that works, one thing, I will stick with them forever. Wow. I'm not doing any kind of foundation or anything else on my skin, and thank goodness, because this stuff is, it's very thick. I don't like it, but hey, we're sampling things today, so... In the sampling world, I will not be repurchasing that. It was nice to use one time, but that was it. <laughs> one time. Um, let's see, what else do I have here? What other little... Oh, we don't need that. Um, oh, this stuff I do love. Oh my gosh, this stuff I wish I could buy in 10 gallon drum size. Woo! Sorry. This is from Glam Glow. This is the Nude Glow. This is their Illuminating Moisturizer. You guys, this stuff under your eyes is an absolute godsend. Especially for somebody like me that's always flipping tired. And always has stuff going on under their eyes. I put this stuff under there. And it just seems to like brighten it right up. I don't know if you can tell any kind of a difference, but I can. See, it's got a little bit of a glow or a sheen there, you can tell. So, And you just need the tiniest bit. I definitely want to get a full size of this, like, bad. I'm going to post about it so that somebody will see it. Hint, hint. And possibly get it for me. If not, I'm buying it myself. This stuff is amazing. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. I have so much stuff on my desk I need to clean up. Oh my goodness. Look at how much stuff mommy has on her desk, buddy. Okay, and then I got this little like Kat Von D set that has these, um, it's their most loved products, which is the Cake Pencil Eyeliner, the Mini Tattoo Liner, which I've used before. Not the greatest thing in the world, but I do like it. And then their Studded Kiss Cream Lipsticks. Um, and it's these little sample ones. The eyeliner, I like any size eyeliner is always a good, like a go for me because you can never have too much eyeliner, in my opinion. The lipsticks I'm not going to be wearing today just because I'm trying out that Fenty Beauty one, but they have like a really dark kind of Bordeaux shade, kind of a medium. So this is Vampira Lolita, which is their 
like cult classic shade, which I've never tried. It'll be nice. And Outlaw, which is a red. i um, not feeling any of these today. That's not the look I'm going for, so I'll use that at a different time. However, oh wow, this is a full-size pencil. That's cool. I got this for free. Wow. I've never used this before, so we'll, uh, let's see how it goes. I just kind of want to, like, smoke it out, and I want to do a baby wing today. <laughs> and I do that in parentheses because you guys know how much I love my liner. And I don't think I've ever done a baby wing to save my life because it always just somehow gets bigger and bigger. But, um, we'll see. Oh my gosh, there's sunshine out. It might actually be a nice day. Cool. What a great day to go out and about. Not the creamiest eyeliner. I am having to work at it a bit to get it to build up. And that's because I like a really deep, dark black liner. So look at that itty bitty baby wing. I think that's the smallest eyeliner wing I've ever done. So let's try and replicate that on this side. How adorable. I feel so cute. Okay, I have no idea if anybody's on here watching because it just like, it doesn't tell me anything on here. Um, as it happens, okay, nope, don't want to do that. Comments. No, I don't want to write a comment. I'd love to see comments. Don't know, there's no way for me to tell. I haven't seen anything, so I'm guessing there isn't. And I'm kind of irritated that I have to film on here now because I have more of an engagement in an audience on Instagram. I don't know, are people just not using Facebook much anymore? That's okay. I don't mind. I'll try it on here one day and then I'll try it on YouTube the other day. Um, another day or two and see where people watch me the most, I guess. Okay, so that's that's an okay liner. Not my favorite. I do want to wear lashes today. I have these really pretty kind of fluffy, flirty looking ones um, that I want to do. So let me just see if I need to... I feel like I need to curl them just a bit. One of the best tips that I can give you, by the way, where is my lash curler? Um... Oh, please don't tell me it's in the bin thing. No, okay. So one of the best things I can tell you for lashes is that it's best to curl them before you put them on your eye. Um, I did it the other way the other day, and that's totally fine. You can do it, but it's best if you just stick them in your lash curler, give them a good squeeze, um, and uh, then drop them on the floor. Like I just did. Oh, and then, so give them a curl in your lash curler and then take and kind of just rock them back and forth like this to kind of loosen up the band and it will help it apply a little easier so it makes it more round like your actual eye shape there. Um, really funny quick story about these. So I had these lashes sitting on my desk here because I had planned on wearing them and my son, he's so cute. He comes into the room and he loves to take everything off my desk and just play with it and stuff. And he saw these and he picks them up and he throws them on the floor and he goes, akak, <laughs> because he thought they were ucky like a spider or something. And it was really funny. He was like, ew, what is that? Oh man, he's so cute. This might be the last wear for this particular pair because they are very, um... oh, I just remembered the other thing I was gonna do today. Um, they're very old. All right, and then anytime you're putting on lashes, you wanna do a coat of mascara first, one coat and then do more. Um, this also came in the little goodie bag they gave me. So this is from It Cosmetics. It's called the Lash Blowout Mascara.
Um, and I don't curl my natural lashes just yet because they're still growing out and they're a little bit short and um, they don't curl very well in the curling wand. So, wow, that's a really big wand for a mascara. So I have no idea any of the claims of this mascara because I just have the tube and it doesn't tell me anything on the tube, obviously. Um, I can tell you the wand is absolutely ginormous. So it seems to be doing a pretty decent job. It seems to be a very natural kind of a fluffy look, which is nice. Um, however, it's not very volumizing from what I can tell, although I, I do really like it. And so we're just getting enough on there so that when it dries down, there's something for the lashes to rest against because these are a heavier strip band. I don't want them to, um, to weigh down my lashes. So I had to take my nails off because my nails are growing out and they were just becoming weak because I had these longer ones on. Um, and I had stress fractured them enough times that I knew it was time to give my hands a break, so. This side actually looks way better because I have better lashes on this side, but. It's definitely not a thick mascara at all. I feel like if you had really full, beautiful lashes already, this would look really good on you, but. Hi, hi, hi. Did you play with the dog dog outside? In the door? Door? Where'd they go? Huh? Where's the doggies? Huh? Where's dog dog? Dog dog. Dog dog. Oh, we're gonna get into mommy's brushes now. My favorite. Yeah, so that's, I don't know if you guys can see that on that side, but it's a really pretty kind of look, so. Thank you. Okay, here goes. We're going to hand every brush to Mama. Thank you. You guys got to see this for a second. Let's see if I can move my camera. What he does is he'll hand it to me and he starts shaking because he gets so excited. Whoops, hang on. Here, let mama move some of these blankies so that you don't you keep falling. Lily, out. Thank you. Good job. You see that? That's so cute. We'll do a couple more and then I'll get back to my tutorial. Oh. oh. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my gosh. So that's what he'll sit there and do. He'll sit there and he gets so excited and he shakes and he puts his hands over his mouth. So cute. So he's going to do that with every single brush I have in there. So now my desk is just an absolute mess. It's all right. Oh, I need my dark lash glue, which I think is in the drawer. I'm so, like, not prepared today, but it's all right. Let me see if I can find my mini lash glue from the other day. Hang on, kiddo. Just a sec. Mommy's trying to find something that I know is not here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. <gasps> All right, hang on. I'm trying to find my lash glue here. I think this is why I could never be like a professional, like beauty, whatever, is because I'm just, I'm never prepared. Uh -oh. And how prepared can you be when you have a, a child? Here, I just have this one. I don't have my dark lash glue, which I can't find, so I'm just going to use this mini one. Thank you. Uh oh. Oh boy, that's a lot of brushes. 
Okay, this one first. Then this one. You know, Mom is trying to do something here. I am trying to finish getting ready so we can go get diapers. And his little baby brain, he is just being adorable and helpful and... So I do tend to go thicker on the glue when I have these thicker strip ones that have the thicker band on them. Hang on just a sec, buddy. Let mommy get this glue on, okay? Because then it can start drying. Thank you. Thank you. So I do put quite a bit of glue on when I'm doing these thicker ones. So we're just going to let that set for a minute as my son continues to hand me everything in my brush bag. Oh, do I have a lip balm up here at all? Thank you. Oh my gosh. You guys. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. With his sticky chocolate fingers. We're going to have to wash every single one of those. <laughs> all right. This is the face of a mom who's like... <laughs> Mm, so I'm looking for a lip balm right now because my lips feel really chappy. This one from Jouer that I'm going to use here. So I'm trying to do three, four different things here. I'm trying to put a lip balm on while letting this dry while also entertaining my son. Uh-oh. Thank you. Uh-oh. Thank you. I got to go get the lid for that. Well, I'll get it in a minute. Oh my gosh, guys. Why is this so hard for me? Why is this so chaotic? I don't understand. Okay, so I think this is dried down enough that I can, it starts to turn translucent when it's ready. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can stick this down. And I'm sorry, but it's hard to do without being super close to the mirror. So. Hang on just a sec, sweetie. Okay, Mama's trying to do something. Eddie. Yeah, hang on. <laughs> Buddy, Mommy sees you. I'm just busy. What? Thank you. So, I have those stuck on there fairly good. These are really cute because they're really fluffy. And I had to shorten them quite a bit because they were so long, the inner corners were touching against my nose and that drives me nuts, so. All right, so we're gonna let, I think that's stuck on there good, so we're gonna let that dry. And these ones are quite heavy. And so you will definitely tell that you're wearing them. And after these completely dry, you are going to have to curl them. Okay. Okay, buddy, there's a reason that this is hard to do. Mommy doesn't really want you playing with these in the first place. This is why I don't mind when he goes and plays in the doggy door with the dogs. It's because at least he's busy doing something. Besides driving me crazy. All right, well, I guess while we're waiting for that, um, since we are doing two cream and we're not doing a liquid lipstick today, I can go ahead and apply my lip products on top of the um, treatment that I just did. Um, it's not one of those treatments where you have to take it off or whatever afterwards. And so we're going to go ahead and do that. And then we'll take some mascara and put it on my lower lashes as well. I'm trying so hard to be patient right now, you guys, but. <sighs> I don't know, I kind of really like this mascara actually. Did you just dump out everything in there? Can you go play with the dog dogs? No, I want that stuff to stay in there, sweetie. Yeah, this needs to all stay in here, okay? Can you go play with dog dog? Or go do something?
Okay, go play with Dog Dog. Where's Dog Dog? Dog Dog. Go find him. Hang on, you guys. Here. Put this over here. Yeah, go find Dog Dog. Dog Dog. <sighs> Oh, that was fast. <laughs> well, go find Dog Dog. Okay. Yeah. Go see. Go see if they're outside. Bye. Yeah. Go see if they're outside. Uh, yeah. Go look. Yeah. Go look. Help. Mommy's busy. For just a few more minutes, okay? This is why videos don't take 15 minutes. This is why they take so much longer than 15 minutes. There is just no gosh dang way that you can do this with a child that long. These lashes definitely are gonna need curled again because this inner corner I can tell needs to be. Up a little. Yeah, go find Doug Doug. Okay, so I have this um, Lime Life lipstick in this kind of neutral color that I'm putting on, and it's really just a basic nude. Um, it's slightly lighter than my lips, but it's a my lips but better kind of a shade. And so um, I'm gonna put that on, and then I'm gonna do the other eye, and I'm gonna do the lip gloss last because I really want you guys to see it. Um, it's so pretty, and it just makes everything better, I think. So. Let's go ahead and we're going to bend this one just a little bit more. Just on the corners so that it's more eye shaped instead of being so straight across. And then we're going to put our lash glue on there. Make sure it's nice and thick. Not too thick because you don't want it to get in your eye, but you definitely want it to hold such a heavy lash. I don't like wearing these heavy ones like this, but I just pulled this one out and I was like, this is cute. Oh, yeah. All right. And then while we're waiting, let's see how dry down this one is. We're gonna see if we can very gently curl this side. So we curled that one a little bit. And then let's take some, I need to take a heavier mascara, um, which I really like. This Lancome one is good, but it's a little too wet right now. It needs to dry down a little bit more. Um, but this Grande Cosmetics one is a nice good thickening mascara that will just go underneath here and make it look better and fuse it to my lashes much better. And then so that you don't have as much of a gap on this inner corner here, it's always good to take a liquid liner and also because these are darker than my natural ones. So you wanna take a um, an eyeliner. So I'm gonna use this little Kat Von D one that I got with my goodie bag. And you're just gonna kind of repaint that inner line a little bit. And kind of just make it a little bit more seamless. And you can always go over the top of your lash band as well to make it stand out a little more. That's actually really cute. These are really intense lashes and they need, these are the kind that need to be curled up pretty far for them to look really pretty. So now let's go ahead and get the other side on because it's starting to turn translucent. Yeah. 
sorry, it's really hard to talk while you're doing this. You kind of have to concentrate on where you're, like what you're doing. So I have it just sitting there and it needs to dry completely now so that I can curl it up more and do all that. Yeah, that's a block. Ta-da! This is just, I feel like today Blah. is such a mess. Yep, block. You can play with it. Where'd it go? It's on your head. Uh-oh. There's dog dog. Dog dog. All right. Dog dog. Yep, dog 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 dog. Okay. So now this eye is complete. I really like this look, you guys. Um, and let's put some, a little bit of color on my cheeks just because there's not any color and I feel like, um, I'm looking a little bit pale. So let's use this one in dandelion. I didn't get a little blush in my thing. Oh my God. I forgot the mirror's broken on this type of thing. Not that I ever used the mirror, but still. And so this is just a very light pale pink that just creates a little bit of color so that you don't look so dead. No, 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 no. You may not have any of this. No, this is mama's book. Uh-uh, no. Here, you can have this one. Yep, because I'm not using that one right now. Hopefully that will not just go right out the doggy door. One of my least favorite lippies anyways, so. I guess that's just going in the garbage because, I don't know. <laughs> Mirror just fell right off. All right, so this still needs to continue to dry down. Um, you, I don't know if you can see a little bit of white in there. That needs to turn completely clear and be completely dry before you even think about curling or doing anything. Otherwise, you will ruin it. So then let's let's debut this gloss real quick because this is the reason that I went to Sephora is because my girlfriend was like this stuff. And it's the again Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb in Fenty Glow. And it just makes your lips look so juicy and like ten times bigger than they are, I think. Mmm, Mama loves that. Love that so much. And Fenty Glow Gloss Bomb. Wow, I feel like super pretty today, I'm not gonna lie. These lashes are so cute. I love them, love them. And I actually really like this It Cosmetics uh, mascara. I may, when mine dry up, I may actually buy a full size of this. I kind of want to wait for my lashes to grow out more, but man, this is pretty. Thank you. Do you need another one? Let's see. What else can I give you that I don't care if it goes missing? This. Well, whatever that is. Okay. Go play. Thank you. So this is just like creating the most like fluffy, um, like long, I don't know, this mascara is so good. This is definitely going in my cart. Like, I don't know, just look at that. I really like that. So this is the It Cosmetics Lash Blowout Mascara. And I am digging it. I am super digging it. Love that. It's akak. Well, then don't eat it. Okay. Thank you. Here, how about you? No, I don't want that to get lost. Hang on. I got to find something for the kiddo to play with. Yeah. That he's not going to destroy. Ah. Uh, I don't know what to give you because really this is mommy stuff and I don't want any of it to go missing. Do you want a brush to play with? Here. You're such a dork. 
Mm. All right, and we're still waiting just a little bit for this one to dry down so that I can go ahead and curl it and then put some of this Grande Cosmetics. This is an intense thickening mascara. It's really good for fusing your lashes with your fake lashes. Um, and it has castor oil in it, so it's actually nourishing your lashes anyway. So um, super digging that. But while we're waiting for that to dry down, you can go ahead and take your liquid liner or felt tip liner. I prefer, these all say liquid liners in that they're not a pencil, but this is actually, this one looks like it's actually a hair bristle one, and they look like they're packed together really nice. And so it gives the workability of an actual felt tip liner, which I prefer because you have more control. The like liquid ones that come in like the old school little you know, thing that you unscrewed, those ones are horrible. And then you usually wanna take your liner and go along your top lash band to hide any glue. And also I like to darken it up too because I like it to be super, super black. And as you can tell, this side's kind of drooping a little bit, so we'll need to definitely curl that. Thank you, you're done already? Oh boy, um, what, what, else, what else do we got? Maybe you could play with one of your toys instead of mommy's things. How about a book? Wanna play with your little book thing? Thank you. I have no idea who's watching right now, by the way. Okay, that's going on the floor. Can you just go play? Yeah, can you go play, please? If I give you something, will you go play with it? No, of course not. Of course not, we have to get into mom's things. I also got this little sample of this Burberry, um, it's called the Burberry Her Perfume. I would have never, ever, ever picked this out on my own and that's why I do kind of like these little samples sometimes. But I really like the scent of this like a lot. I'm hoping that my husband does too because I don't know, it just smells really good to me. So I'm actually gonna spritz some of this on today too. And this seems like it's like sweet, like a sweet scent, but it's also really grown up. So I might see how much a full size one of these is. And that might be a little prezzy to myself because that just smells very grown up to me. Oh, thank you. Is there a cup in there? Gosh. The, uh, the joys of mother. There it is. Let's take the cup here. Put the juice in it. That had juice in it, but that's really ucky now. Can we use a different, uh, here. <laughs> Hold on, you guys. We gotta do some mom stuff here for a minute. If you're a mom, you totally understand. And this is what's happening when we get ready. I know you're excited. Cause then we'll stick this one in the dishwasher. Someone's excited. And then we have to tear this one open. Where's my thing to do that? Multitasking. Something you will become a pro at if you were a mother. Yeah, don't eat that one or drink that one. That one's ucky. I'm trying to find my, my little clippers. Hang on. That one's ucky. Whew. to the rescue. We have to cut open this Capri Sun thing because if I just stick the straw in it, he um, will squeeze it all over the floor. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh God, I'm spilling it. I know, and it's never fast enough for him either because it doesn't matter how fast you go. Like they wanted it no. 10 minutes ago. Even though they, ah, 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 ah. No. Okay. Please take this juice and go somewhere. <laughs> anywhere. <laughs> go play. Go play. Please, anywhere, go. <sighs> oh my God, he broke the thing off. Okay, just 
just got to tell myself it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, so speaking of which, this, I got this from Target. This is the raw sugar hand sanitizer, the watermelon and aloe vera. It literally smells like watermelon Jolly Ranchers. It is like the best stuff ever. And I absolutely love it. If you're going to have a hand sanitizer and we're supposed to be wearing this stuff all the time, you might as well get one that smells super amazing. And this one definitely does. Although I think I'm going to have to put it in like a plastic baggie because I don't want it to spill all over my purse. Oh. All right, I'm gonna, let's try and finish this so that I actually can get out the door before like four o'clock this afternoon. All right, so now that this side is completely dried, I'm gonna take my lash curler and go ahead and curl it. And there's juice all over my desk. Oh, yeah. So you wanna take it and Very gently curl it as close to the base of the lashes as possible. Remember if it gets stuck, just very gently. Kind of release it so that you do not I think that's good actually. All right, and then we're going to take our Grande Cosmetics Mascara. You see how that lifted it up nice so that it's not so... These lashes are long enough and fluffy enough that you really need them to curl upwards. And also with my eye shape, it works really well that way. All right. So you just want to put that underneath. I do not take my mascara and go all the way through the lashes because a lot of the times, you're fine. A lot of the time um, I buy my lashes based on the fact that I really like the shape and fluffiness of the lash. And you don't really want to ruin that with the mascara. No, go play. It is so hard to do this with a child, you guys. Um, and yeah, so that's actually kind of it. And then, um, yeah, that's it. So I'm so sorry that my child has decided to be such a part of this video because that was not the intention. Um, I am going to uh, 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 go ahead and end this just because he is becoming <sighs> too much right now. And so I need to end this before he freaks out even more. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you very soon.